Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Fenzel coming at you with hole one of the Pro Division. This is my walkthrough. Um, just remember, I'm playing these holes, um, trying to learn things myself as I'm learning, you're learning. Um, hopefully, I can pull some stuff off. If I can't, you know, just try and build off of it. Uh, this is what these videos are for, just to show you what I'm doing. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. The choice is yours. So here what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a QB slice shot. Um, we're looking for about 5.5 miles per hour in wind. Great shot. Um, I have noticed it's kind of a sweet spot here. And this definitely sets us up for the best chance at a eagle. So let's see what kind of wind we have. So 5.2... All right, I'm gonna stick with this. Three bars at the top, as much left spin as possible. Right here, with the white ring touching the sand, is exactly 20 rings from our initial point. So I'm gonna move this over to 21 rings. We're gonna do full power, full curl, and see how this one works out. First time doing this with a level seven, so hopefully you know, we get some good results here, and we do. So I just did one less ring with the level seven. Only difference, remember we're looking for around a 5.5 .5 mile per hour wind. 5.2 is okay. Um, I've noticed that 6.1 kind of gets me a little close to the rough here. So, um, if you have over 6.1, I would probably either switch to a katana or what I would do is I would ease off on the overpower. The choice is yours and what you want to do. Definitely want that side spin Great though. Shot. All right, so the second shot, we're gonna go for the end bringer shot. Um, definitely don't know if it's going to be consistent just because of the bounce that we have here. Actually, we're going to go with the thorn shot. It's one thing about playing with multiple accounts is that you uh, end up in different positions so everything's kind of new. So we're going to play this at min... Plus 10% here. So we're going to play this at 1.7. Perfect shot. Hit it perfect. We come in on the right side. So when I play this with the Endbringer, I miss the left. Hitting it great right. Now here I miss right side, so that means I over adjusted. Maybe just play it straight up if you have a thorn shot. I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit and figure out a way to get a more consistent result. So thanks for watching hole one. I'm gonna move on to hole two. Hopefully this helps you, and I will see you on the next hole. Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Fenzel coming at you with hole two for the pro division. So here what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing with a sniper and then we're going to be playing with a kingmaker. Uh, the reason why we're going to play with the power three ball is because this is going to put us at a perfect max distance in our club. I'm electing to use a kingmaker instead of a titan so that I can have that extra wind resistance. Um, we're going to play this 30% downhill. And then we're going to play this Perfect at the shot. plus two yard mark in our club. Two to three yard mark, depending on what kind of sniper you have. But this shot is going to get you close to the hole. Um, I have seen someone drop this shot, so let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> All right, so right off the bat, we're going to go two back spin, four right spin. 
we're going to have the top of the white ring touching the bunker. Same as on the right side of the rough, we're going to have it touching. And then we're going to adjust this 30% downhill at max distance in our club. So that's 5.8 rings. Perfect shot. And as you can see, this is close. I think I over adjusted there, honestly. That's supposed to go 5.8 rings, I think I did six. So that was actually my, my fault in the adjustment. But this is gonna be a really close hole in one for you. Hopefully this works. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next hole. What's going on everyone? This is Fenzo, this is hole three of the Pro Division for the Cliff Top Links Tournament. Um, we are gonna be using our extra mile and guardian on this one and then I'm electing to use a Kingmaker instead of a Titan because on our second shot, um, I don't want the high wind um, because I don't want the first bounce to be pushed any more than I need it to be. Um, anyone that knows about compression or the first bounce theory with wind direction, um, when you have a tailwind, the ball bounces further. When you have a headwind, the ball does not bounce as far in your first shot. So this is why I am reducing the wind with the Kingmaker. You can use a Titan. There's nothing um, wrong with the Titan. If you want to make this hole super easy, uh, use a Power 4 or Power 5 ball. Then you won't have any problems. But because I'm trying to use balls that people have, um, I'm going to use a Kingmaker. Great shot. So on this drive, we're going to adjust 20% downhill. We are going to go full top, two left spin on the drive. And then I will show you exactly what I do to get to as close to the rough as possible. So full top, two left. We're going to kind of center that in the middle. 20% downhill, we're going to adjust for max distance in our club. And then I'm going to push this up to plus 11. You see to the left of the yellow ring, there's that plus yardage mark. That is what I'm referring to. Perfect shot. So with the Kingmaker, this adjustment works. This is gonna push me up pretty close to the edge of the fairway. Um, you can't go to like plus 12, get yourself a little bit further, but if you hit it great left or right, I don't know if the ball will sail on you. So I'm just doing it this way to, to be safe. Um, this is um, with the power three ball. So if you switch power level ball, this is gonna change for you. So just be aware of that. And remember, as I'm learning, you're learning. This is kind of my my way that I take notes. This is how I learn from mistakes are to see what works, so. All right, for the second shot, we're gonna have to use full overpower. We're gonna use full back spin, two left spin. You kind of get this lined up with the direction of the wind. One, two, three. Perfect shot. This is why you want to push yourself up as far as possible. So you just really, really, really need to be careful on this shot when you don't have a level six guardian with full backspin because you can go into the rough over the green. Um, it's a pretty easy chip, uh, even if you hit it great left or right, but you also cannot underpower because the ball guide is sitting at a lower trajectory at the bottom of the cliff. <laughs> so if you underpower, you're going to risk going into the water. Great shot. So you really have to be careful on those adjustments. 
if you do lay up to the point that my opponent did um, with the thorn, it's just a one-to-one -one adjustment with your thorn. If you lay up where my opponent did. So I'm going to give you that as a reference point. So we're going to go ahead and make our eagle. Thanks for watching this video and we're going to go on to the next hole. Perfect shot. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to this tutorial for Pro Division Hole 4. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to play with the power 2 ball here. 3 bars of backspin. Uh, we're going to aim our ball guy just right edge of the cup. Have the red ring touching the rough on the top portion. We're going to do 20% downhill here. And we're going to adjust at mid numbers minus 0.2. So my adjustment here is 2.3 rings, but as you can see, I'm gonna adjust 2.1. So that is what I mean by mid numbers minus 0.2. Um, I've hit this three times now. So this is a very consistent adjustment. Shot. Remember, just have your ball guide aimed right edge of the cup, and this one will hit dead center. Thanks for watching, and this is how you play hole four. All right, everyone, this is hole five in the pro division. Um, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be just going straight over with our extra mile. Um, once again, if you wanna make this drive easier, use a power four ball, power five ball if you have them. Um, gonna make this so you don't have to overpower at all. For me, I'm gonna use the Kingmaker here because I want the side spin. Um, we're going to be playing to the right. There is definitely not any advantage of playing to the left, and I do not recommend it because then in your second shot, you're going to have the bunker um, to deal with. Going right here, we're going to give ourselves a nice chance at the Alba. So we're going to do 10% downhill here. We're going to do max left spin, a little bit of top spin. Just like a half a bar top, so we want to push ourselves up there as much as possible. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do 10% downhill. Make our adjustment from this position. It's about 3.5. We're going to push this straight up. We're just going to give this slight overpower, just a smidge of curl. And then try and hit this Great perfect. Shot. Great left should be okay. And this is kind of going to be a foolproof shot here. Um, as long as you don't use a lot of curl, you're going to be fine if you hit a great left. Like I said, 10% downhill. Make your adjustment from max position. Push it straight back up. And then use just a little bit of overpower with a little bit of curl. And you're going to be just fine. I'm going to assume you'll be fine hitting a great right. I have not done it yet, so I cannot confirm or deny that, but um, I would assume you would be okay with the left spin and the slight curl, as long as you don't hit it massively great, right? Alright, on my second shot, um, I'm just going to play one to one. We do have to be careful here though, because with using top spin, with our sniper, there is a little bit of a glitch on the green. You can come in hot. I'm going to try to avoid it. Use one left spin. As you can see, it's a little bit glitchy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim left edge of the cup. And then I'm going to play this at one to one. Shot. We came in close there. I didn't aim so much Good left shot. of the cup, like, it seemed like my ball guy kind of glitched back to the center, but I mean, that's fine. It's still a nice shot. Definitely something that um, you can hit. 
I don't think I would really change any there, anything there except, you know, aiming a little bit more left of the cup because the green slopes from left to right there. So this is how I play hole five. Hopefully this helps you and good luck in the tournament. I will see you in the next hole. All right, everyone, welcome to hole six of the Cliff Top Links Tournament Pro Division. Um, so with this hole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play... I think I'm going to play with the power two ball here. Um, just to make this a little bit easier for my second shot. Definitely um, makeable with the Quasar or even a Katana. Um, I am going to reduce these Gale Force winds here <laughs> with, a, with a wind ball. So you're going to play the shot the same way with uh, like a Katana or a Quasar. Um, the only Great difference shot. that is going to be is the wind's going to be reduced. The reason why I play with wind balls in tournaments is because, you know, if I can make a shot easier and get a shot up in my opponents, I'm going to. Um, you don't have to, but that is my choice. I definitely like to have a good qualifying round, so... I try to do what I can. So I'm gonna do four top spin, two left spin with this ball. I'm gonna aim kind of in the middle here so that if I hit great left or right, I'll be okay. We're gonna adjust 10% downhill at max distance, which is 1.7. You use just a slight bit of curl. Perfect shot. Just to try to keep myself on the left side. And then in our second shot, we're not going to use any type of elevation. We're just going to go... Um, straight with whatever we are at in our club remember our drive is plus 10 percent definitely a hole that you could use the hornet on uh hornet is more accurate than the thorn um i'm a thorn guy but i actually might consider switching to the hornet for this hole All right, let's see if we can make this eagle. There's one bar backspin here. Aimed in the middle of the hole. I'm gonna play this just over mid. I'm gonna play this at like 1.9 rings, 1.8 rings. Perfect shot. And we were right at mid distance, so nice on. definitely a hole that we're gonna be able to make eagle on. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. All right, what's going on, everyone? Um, this is hole seven of the Pro Division for the Clifftop Links Tournament. So here we're going to be playing with a quarterback and a kingmaker. Um, this is definitely a tough hole. Um, I, I really don't recommend the sniper shot here just because... In order to go at this hole with the sniper, you're going to have to play really close to the rough on the left. And to me, it's just not worth it. Perfect shot. Um, if you have a Thor level 4, um, this shot can also work for you if you don't have a QB8. Um, basically, you're just going to want to try and get the... Get the... Uh, 
birdie here and kind of run. So we're gonna do is we want the red ring touching here. Have it just on the green and then we're gonna adjust mid numbers at 30% downhill. Which is gonna be 6-4. And then I'm gonna use slight curl here. Perfect shot. As you can see, this gets us safely on the green. Um, definitely need a club that has more backspin, but like I said, I would definitely just kind of take your your birdie here and run. Um, this is going to be a shape, safe shot for you to get your birdie. Um, thanks for watching, and we're going to move on to hole number eight. All right, everyone, we're on hole eight of the Cliff Top Links Pro Division. And here I'm going to show you how to do um, a QB slice shot. Full top spin, full right spin. We're going to put the right side of the red ring just on the edge of the rough line here. And then we are going to full curl, full overpower, full slice. So full top spin, full right spin. And then this shot is basically money. Um, the only thing is if you have a higher wind here, you can use a Titan. But I probably wouldn't put as much of the rings in the rough. So maybe put like the yellow ring on the edge of the rough. Um, it kind of just depends on your wind angle. But as you can see there, we're safe. Um, definitely a hole you want to write your yardage down on. Just so you kind of know where you are in your club. And then our second shot, we're going to play 30% downhill. And then we're going to figure out where we are in our club. But I feel like this is going to give you the most consistent chance for a uh, eagle here. As far as having a consistent drive. You're going to do the same thing with the level 9, level 10 QB. I would probably stick with the same spin though when you have a level 10. I don't know if the spin changes on a level uh, 9. I'll have to look into that. So I'm going to use 3 back spin. Looks like we're right around mid distance. We're going to play just short and then in the center of the hole. Remember 30% adjustment. Mid distance is going to be 3.4 rings. Shot. And of course we hit it great. But as you can see, that's going to come in perfect. We hit that perfect and it will go in the hole. This is how I'm playing hole eight. Thanks for watching and good luck on your rounds. Yo, welcome to hole nine, the last hole of the pro division playthrough that I'm doing. Remember, as I'm learning, you are learning. This is how I'm making my notes. Um, making my tweaks and adjustments. So here you can choose to play with either a katana or a kingmaker. Um, for me, obviously, I'm going to play with a kingmaker. I want the side spin and the power for the ball. Um, we are going to... Not do what our opponent did. I don't feel like playing that way gives you a good shot at a um, albatross here. We are going to be trying to get it to the left side. If you have a QB, you can use a QB. But because I have a little bit higher extra mile, I'm going to use that instead. So we're going to put this at the plus... 
eight yard mark, 20% downhill, max distance adjustment. It's gonna be 3.2 rings. Let me use full curl on here. Great, shot. Great left should be okay. And then this should get us close to the left side, a little bit straighter shot into the hole uh, bouncing on this island here. Which I feel is a better chance at going for the albatross than where our opponent is. Or you can play to the right side. If you want to play to the right side, same thing, 20% downhill. Play with the quarterback so you have the ball guide. One bar backspin. One bar left spin, make a max adjustment with your QB. Even then you'll have a straighter line with your sniper. Great shot. Alright, so in our second shot, I'm gonna play ten percent downhill remember the drive was 20% downhill I'm gonna play with 10% downhill in my second you're gonna see where we are in our club we're like in between mid and max gonna use about a bar back spin some right spin here and then a 5-5 five, 10% five, downhill so I'm going to play this at 2.5. Perfect shot. Oh, that is super close. Maybe use like a smidge bit more backspin, but we're going to have to get that one lined up, but I like that adjustment. All right, this is hole nine. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, this is me learning as you are learning. Um, hopefully you can get something out of this video. Um, thank you all so much for the support. Hit the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit me up on Messenger, GC Fenzel. If you have any questions, just please feel free to ask. Um, I will be doing... Uh, more updated videos if I get any new updates on shots. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully this helps you. Good luck in the tournament. Shot.